myself making strawberry shortcake or putting all the ingredients together as you can tell there's nothing left in the bowl but left there a batter I filmed it and my head's cut off in the video so enjoy this video with my head chopped off hey welcome back to another video to all my five people that are watching this Today, we are going to make strawberry shortcake. So, I have all the ingredients already pretty much out for us. So, let's do this. First things first, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Preheating. I already went ahead and buttered and floured my 9x13 pan. You could use parchment paper as well if you'd like. Uh, that was not English. You can use parchment paper also if you'd like, but I did not have any. So this is what I did. All right, put that aside. All right, so half cup of shortening. Beautiful. And then one and one third cup of sugar. Yep, I'm old fashioned. No mixers here. All gums. Oh, shit. You have to make a mess when you're baking too. Just let that mix together pretty well. Or not pretty well. Whatever. All right. We need two. Two eggs. Two. One. Two. Beautiful. I'm such a professional. In case you guys didn't know. All right. Get that in here too. I know I have this whisk in front of me, but no. I'll use it eventually, probably. Get that in there a little bit. Two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I make sure I was over the right thing. Woo! Oh yeah. One, no, two and a half. Yes. Beautiful. Half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna use my clean hands and uh pretend that's Half a teaspoon. All right. Um, four teaspoons of baking powder. Should probably dry this off a little bit because that's gonna stick. It's a fly. Four teaspoons. It's a little hard. recipes tell you to do the dry and the wet separately but um I just do what I want and I think I've been doing pretty fine I'm just gonna go ahead and use this whisk now just because it makes me look a little bit more not of a hot mess get those chunks out as best as you can like I said, professional. All right, then you need one cup of milk. Ooh, yeah, whatever. Um, I think you're supposed to alternate the milk and the flour, but we're gonna pray it comes out good, whatever. So three cups of flour, right on in there. And let's just pray that I didn't mess it up. Ugh. I mean, I think it'll be fine. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. Get it all 
in there. Use a spatula, kind of get the sides, you know, get under it. Make sure you're incorporating all of them ingredients. That side. Cool. Now I'm making the cakes a couple days ahead of time just because so it has enough time to cool and then I'll just let them sit for a couple days and then I'm going to do the layers. But let me grab my beautiful 9 by 13 and go ahead and get your spatula and put that in there. Don't forget to leave some extra batter for you to try it. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. You're not supposed to eat raw eggs. Ow! Little fly. It's biting me. Spread that out. Yeah, this is going to be so good. This is going to smell so good. Make sure that's even ish, whatever. Beautiful, cool. All right, now let's put this in the oven. Here we go. Gotta take the glasses off because they fog up in the oven. Let's just open that because I don't have five hands. And in we go. All right, so now you're gonna leave that in there for about 20 to 25 minutes. You know, stick a knife or a toothpick in there when it comes out clean, then take it out, okay? And then we'll move on to the next step after that. If you guys love pancakes, she's telling me to check it. Hold on. Glasses off. We don't like fog. Now, it's definitely not done, I could tell, so. Ooh, just kidding. It's done. Clean. Take it out. If you guys like pancakes, you will love this because it smells like pancakes. All right, take it off. Oven off. And let it cool. To be continued. All right, next step. I flipped it out of the pan. It came out very well. I wanna to try to cut it in half. Wish me luck. Oh, I maybe I need a bigger knife. Not like super thick, but you just want two layers so you can put the whipped cream and strawberries in between. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're not pros. And it's for my nephew's birthday party, and he's gonna love it no matter what. Are you trying to do a good job? I am. We're getting there. Hopefully that matches up with the other side. All right. It's split. Now I'm gonna carefully save this for the next part. Right, here we are, next step. Cut strawberries. You need three pounds. So that's a big one and a half. Cut it all up, I'll be right back.
All right, now that we have our three pounds of strawberries all cut up beautifully, you're gonna put it in a little whatever, a pot, whatever you wanna call it. Turn that on, get a fourth a cup of sugar, and put that in there. And you're just gonna let that dissolve. So stir it gently. And then once the sugar dissolves, you can take it off the heat. And then we assemble. Woo! All right, we made it to the final steps. So I just took the strawberries off the heat. It really takes no time at all for the sugar to dissolve. So it's gonna be a little bit liquidy, but that's what you want. It's gonna soak up into that bread, well, cake, whatever. All right, so I already got my cake out the fridge. I took the top off, put that aside. So right now we have the bottom there. We have strawberries. So you're gonna take about half of the strawberries and you're just gonna layer that on in there. Doesn't gotta look pretty because this is the inside layers. So let that be. And if you plan on putting like extra on top for any fancy design, make sure you save some aside. I can. So just make sure that's even. Beautiful. A couple more. Make sure it's even. Strawberry shortcake is so easy and it's so good. All right, beautiful. Now we're gonna flip this. So the top is gonna go face down. It'll soak in more this way. So get the rest of those strawberries. I might just save a couple of these. Put them on top. On top, top of the Cool Whip. up on there well, with my clean hands super clean spread that out it smells so good all right more cool whip if it's not the most beautiful thing in the world Some of the strawberries kind of are showing through the top layer. Whatever. It's strawberry shortcake. Let it show through. Let me wash my hands. Alright. Now there's just a couple of little extra ones. I'm just gonna kind of place them on top.
gorgeous gorgeous would you just look at it let me show you how beautiful it is Ta -da! and that's it cover it up and bring it to your party they're gonna love it